What is up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I took the day off yesterday. Uh, lately, I've kind of been taking every other day off, but that's just because I've been posting like 26 and 27 minute long videos. So I've basically been cramming two videos into one and then just taking the next day off to regroup and gather up some new information and stuff. But um, um, I don't know. I like posting a video every day. And you know what? There's just so much cool stuff happening that I'm going to try to keep consistently posting every day as we usually do. So today, a lot of cool stuff to talk about. The first of which comes from a scientist, well-known Ames Research Center, NASA scientist, who has sort of come back into the spotlight recently. Now, we have done videos on this guy in the past, years ago, in fact. I actually own his book entitled The Ringmakers of Saturn, but... He's come out recently sort of breathing new life back into his claims that there are, without a doubt, alien ships, massive craft around planets like Saturn and Jupiter. Now, his name is Dr. Norman Berggren, and if you don't know who he is, he is a mechanical engineer, world-renowned, well-respected mechanical engineer. Uh, Dr. Berggren has worked for NASA's Ames Research Laboratory, as well as the Lockheed Martin Missile and Space Company, and really has a list of accomplishments longer than my arm. I mean, this guy is, he knows his shit, we'll just say that. And he's worked with some very important and powerful people and government projects, we'll just say. And if you don't know about his book, he came out with a book back in the 80s called The Ring Makers of Saturn. And in this book, he presents the theory, as well as facts, that there are massive alien craft of some sort out at Saturn that have actually been snapped on camera, actually manufacturing rings around Saturn. As you all know, the planet Saturn has rings around it. And in some of the Voyager space probe imagery that we have at least, or at least that's available to the public, would seem to corroborate that. And you're seeing some images here from his book as well as these Voyager mission images that would seem to show these sort of massive, and I'm talking miles long, hundreds of miles long cigar-shaped objects that have been captured in official NASA images sort of hanging around NASA's ring system as well as creating rings as you're seeing in these images here where in one image taken earlier, you see that the end of the ring system to the right of Saturn comes to an abrupt end. And there's actually a long cylindrical object seen at the end of this ring, this unfinished ring, that looks to have an exhaust system coming from it. And in later images, you see that this ring is completed. And so he's come back into the spotlight and is reaffirming once again that, quote, alien spacecraft are proliferating in our solar system and around these ringed planets. Uranus is another one of these planets that have rings. Many people don't know that Uranus has rings, <laughs> but Uranus does have rings. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait to read the comment section after this video. So, enough about Uranus. Let's get back to Jupiter where a lot of these, what he calls ring makers, can be found. And he goes on to state, and I quote, that what I found is that these things inhabit Saturn. That's where I first discovered them, and they're proliferating. You can find them around Uranus and Jupiter. Wherever you see rings, that's where these aircrafts, I call them ring makers, will be found. And as you're seeing in some of these images, the scientists point out that you can see what looks like an exhaust emanating from these large cigar-shaped craft. And it's his opinion that these aliens are, quote, nursing from the rings, gathering energy that is being used to allow them to further proliferate and power their craft. He said, quote, that's where the new ones are getting their energy. Now, if you guys can get a copy of it, and I know that there's digital versions of this book online, and once again, it's his 1986 book, Ringmakers of Saturn, get a copy of it. I have one of his original copies, um, and according to this decorated NASA scientist, this isn't some kook. This is a guy w with a resume that would threaten most professional astrophysicists and mechanical engineers living today, and the imagery does support it. 
If you remember, some new images came out recently, earlier this year, showing an unidentified object disturbing part of NASA's ring system. You're seeing that image here. And they don't know what it is. Some have said that this is another one of these objects, possibly a drone that was sitting dormant for God knows how many years before moving through and disrupting these rings. And you know, there's a lot of strange things just with Saturn in general, as well as its moons. We've talked about Saturn's moons in the past many times. For instance, the moon Iapetus, very enigmatic moon of Saturn that not only looks identical to the Death Star from the Star Wars films, as you're seeing in this side-by-side -side comparison, not only that, but we have found hexagon-shaped craters on Iapetus, not to mention a 12-mile-high ridge that wraps around dead center of the equator of Iapetus, as if this was at one time two separate pieces that were molded or welded together, I guess you could say. And, you know, these things are all over the solar system. I mean, you've seen the images. These things are not only around our planets, they're around our Earth. I mean, look at these things captured in the SOHO imagery around our sun. A lot of them, a lot of different shapes, structures, utilizing the sun's energy, moving past the sun. I mean, look at these. Sometimes they're, they're single craft. Other times they are fleets, as you're seeing in this image here. So it's all very interesting, and you, it doesn't get much better than when you have one of the most decorated scientists and engineers come out and corroborate that all this work we're doing is not in vain and that there is truth to it. And so for that, Dr. Berggren, we thank you very much. Now, before we get to a few UFO sightings and some other information, while we're on the topic of space objects and anomalies found on or around them, we have a new finding, this time by Scott Waring over at UFO Sightings Daily, who captured what looks like a winged aircraft of some sort sitting on the very anomalous Comet 67P. Now, for those of you who don't know, or who were not subscribed to us about a year and a half, two years ago, Comet 67P is a Jupiter family comet, originally from the Kuiper Belt. And we recently sent a space probe to this comet. And I, the way in which this was done um, just added to the mystery of this thing. It, you know, there was a lot of closer comets and asteroids near Earth, but it was almost as if all of the sudden we had to get a probe out to this particular comet. And when you see all the imagery that came back from this thing and all of the anomalous objects that were found on it, uh, UFOs, objects, tower-looking structures, I mean, it's just crazy. And you can look back in our videos and see the, you know, what we found on the surface, but a new finding, possibly one of the best yet, uh, you're seeing here, and I'll put the link to this down in the video description, of what looks eerily similar to one of our man-made military aircraft down here on Earth. This is definitely a three-dimensional object. You can see the shadow of it. You can see the shadow of one of this one of these wings here. And if you look on the other side, again, it has what looks like another identical wing. And you can see the sunlight sort of glinting off of the end of this thing. It sort of gives you that metallic glint that you only get when sun hits metallic objects. Scott, over at UFO Sightings Daily, called it a Nazi wing aircraft design. Um, as you're seeing in this uh, comparison image that he found, uh, it looks very similar. Uh, to this object it looks very similar to a, a lot of aircraft especially do-it-yourself aircraft uh, experimental aircraft that we've seen um, with the government um, possibly tr3b shaped it's definitely looks like a it looks like a triangular shaped object uh, so again great finding yet another that we can add to the list found on comet 67p on to some UFO sightings. First, we have an update to a recent video we did. Now, a couple of videos back, we were talking about all these strange lights that have been sighted over San Diego over the past week. And we posted a video talking about a recent sighting that was captured over San Diego and featured on the local NBC7 news channel. Um, it was on the news, and the footage that we showed you at that time was very, it was not very good, we'll just say that. It was very pixelated and 
it really like choppy like we didn't get a fluid view so we have an update uh, of the original video that was sent in to NBC7 showing what at first looked like a possible meteor but as you'll see these things move they do not move like a meteor and you're seeing that video now which was captured on August 16th uh, of what was quoted by the viewer as what looked only like a, f a fireball of some sort and others who saw it described it as a quote strange aircraft with lights on the bottom and as you're watching this footage I mean this thing does not look like a meteor the tail of this thing I mean it, it, this it's like the object disappears and then another object appears behind it and then the object reappears back in the front and it's just the way this thing is moving in the sky if it is one thing it's strange and then we have the viewer saying that it was an aircraft with lights on the bottom uh, so again wanted to show you guys this updated uh, faster clear video uh, so if you've seen some more strange stuff over San Diego email me I wonder what's going on over there on top of all those mystery booms that people are hearing strange sounds in the sky strange sightings in the sky uh, so now on to a very mysterious mass UFO sighting that happened in Mexico now we have two clips by two separate sources here this sighting literally caused a bumper to bumper traffic stop where people were getting out of their cars to record this thing so check out these two clips oh, Da miedo. Ay, mamá. Que se siga su camino. Wow, ¿qué es? Pues es un ovni. All right, so as I said, captured over Mexico, you just saw both separate clips. Now, this was originally posted by the YouTube channel Ana Luisa, and the first clip that you're seeing here was captured by Mari Cruz Hernandez, which sort of gives us a much closer up shot, and we have some uh, filters and close-up views done by Miss Ana Luisa. I'll put her links to these down in the video description. Uh, the second clip which was captured by a Mr. Jim Morrison, which gives us more of a far away view, but you can also see the people who were standing outside of their cars watching this thing, and it definitely has like a strange disc shape to it, with what looks possibly like a window or a sort of a dark circular spot on it. Could this be a porthole of some kind? Whatever it was, it was stopping people in their tracks, they were getting out of their cars, um, just uh, really bizarre footage. Uh, but apparently this was captured on the Mexican Federal Highway 85D. And uh, that's all the information we have at this point. So captured earlier this week. Let me know what you guys think. Amazing stuff. Great capture. And it's just awesome that we could have two separate clips of it. And uh, honestly, some really good shots up close when you check it out. Now, lastly, uh, it's been brought to my attention that NASA is going to hand off the International Space Station to a commercial entity and they are going to be doing that they they say hopefully by the mid 2020s so according to a new tech crunch article which i will put down in the video description the other day when nasa was talking about their future plans to get humans to mars um and and we've discussed this sort of rush lately for some reason to get people to mars get spacecrafts to mars get rovers robots as well as build human colonies there during this press conference the nasa deputy associate administrator for exploration systems development god if that isn't a long title uh, Mr. Bill Hill uh, said that they want to hand off uh, control of the ISS to a commercial owner 
So, I mean, the ISS is pretty much done for. I mean, they're going to be shutting down the ISS camera here pretty soon. And now they're going to hand the ISS over to some commercial company, which will probably turn it into some uh, space tourism nonsense, flying people up there to stay. Um, it's all about profits, but apparently uh, the U.S. government, who has been funding the ISS program, um, is uh, cutting off the money very soon. So, uh, yeah, they didn't tell us who or what private company uh, is going to assume control of the space station. But, um, you know, I mean, why? It, it just blows my mind why the government would stop funding for something like the International Space Station, which really is a great tool, which allows us to run experiments in low Earth orbit and... It's like, it's just not, it's not a, a big priority these days, you know, unless it has something to do with war or something that's going to directly line the pockets of the politicians, they don't want to fund it. And, um, you know, this is a, a huge misstep in my opinion. And when commercial entities, private companies take over something, uh, we've, we've seen the harm that is done by this. We saw what happened when private entities took over our prison system. You know, locking people up for profit and keeping them locked in. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. But times they are changing, as one man once said. So let me know what you guys think about that. What do you think about the sighting over uh, Mexico, the uh, ring makers of Saturn, and the imagery that is corroborating it, and uh, all of the interesting things happening? Um, leave your comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. And uh, stick around because I've got a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys.